Kumu County, where we have Willis, the word master, with us. Good evening, Willis. It's great to see you. How have you been? Uh, Grace, I've been uh, cool. I've been doing so nice this week, and especially, you know, tonight. Grace, I want to say, you've called that artist Short Baba, but I think he's Short Baba, who is very able to do tall and great things in his <laughs> life because he's just in a class of his own. Otherwise, how was your week? My week was fine. Willis working, but uh, we thank God. He's actually here. He's heard you, and uh, he's received the compliment, yeah. Willis. Uh, so now I want okay. us to cross right. over to the word, word on the street. And uh, let's just listen in to what various people had to say of this word, which is a bit tricky, I must say. Serostomia, serostomia, serostomia. Extrotomia. Extrotomia. E e extrotomia. Celostomia. 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 Zerostomia. 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 Xerostomia. Crostamia. Exrostamia. Exrostamia. I think that's the word. Exrostamia. Erostomia. 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 Zerostomia. 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 Serestomia. 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 Zerostamia. 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 Serostomia. 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 It's serostomia. 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 Zerostomia. 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 Willis, I actually think I had celestomine from one of them, sterostomia, sterostomia, zerostomia. What is the con correct pronunciation of this Grace. word, Willis? Something close to that. The first person really, you know, made my night when he said something like exterostomia. <laughs> and uh, there are those who got very close to getting it, those who said Zerostomia, mm -hmm. but please, in the first place, we have to understand that this is a term and it is used for abnormal lack of saliva or dryness of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, you say Z, Zerostomia. It's a noun, and that letter E after X takes the long sound E, Z, Zerostomia. So, Zero remember stomia. when we are talking about abnormal, yes, uh, grace, when we are talking about an abnormal dryness of the skin or other bodily tissues, that other term we say xerosis, not xerosis, mm. not cirrhosis. Xerosis, and our word on the street, xerostomia. Zero storm, you got it, Willis. Uh, let's now take a look at our collection this week. And the first word is a word that means to get in the way of Willis, and that is I M P E D E. Impede? Some people would say impaired. I don't know, <laughs> Willis. What's the correct pronunciation? <laughs> Grace, uh, you know, there is something that is already giving me what we call now that morale. I would call it a morale booster because it's my first time to, you know, talk to you on air on Friday briefing. That is mind your language. And the way you sound, I have to give you a salute before I continue. Now, <laughs> first, you. you say impede, to impede. That is a verb. Now, when you are talking about what we commonly hear locally, you are right, because there are people who find themselves innocently saying impaired, impaired. Sometimes I say if we had you know, enough emphasis and accurate information on matters, pronunciation, just like grammar and vocabulary, then many people would know what to say, but sometimes we have to guess, and that's why I used the word innocently. This one is impede, but the noun form is impediment. Mm -hmm. Impede, 
impediment. Impede impediment, certainly, Willis. Now, the yes. next one, huh, I don't want to embarrass myself on national TV because it's quite a <laughs> mouthful, <laughs> Willis, and I'm certain it's borrowed okay. from German, if I'm not wrong. Uh, S C H A D E N F R E U D E. Willis, just over to you. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> okay, that word in the first place, it means a feeling of pleasure at the bad things that happen to other people. There are people who may be like that, that if somebody has a problem or somebody has some trouble somewhere, somebody feels good. Now, this word, as you've said correctly, it's from German, and you say Schadenfreude, Schadenfreude, or Schadenfreude. You can use den or den because sometimes the problem is when you can't produce that consonant cluster, that is n, where you say schaden, schadenfreude, then you can say schadenfreude. I hope you got it, Grace. Schadenfreude? That is it. That is the way to pronounce <laughs> that word, Grace. A pat on my back, Will, is schadenfreude. Now yes. the next one. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> The next one I'm really interested <laughs> yeah. in uh, hearing, you know, the pronunciation, Willis, because I pronounce it differently and a lot of people have an issue with it. Is it government? Is it government, Willis? Well, that one is a bit tricky. Locally, many people, you know, sometimes the problem that we have uh, with uh, almost, you know, almost every part of the world, when we talk about non-native speakers, sometimes there are certain pronunciations that sound stylish or unique. Then when we pick them, we believe that they are right. But please, when we talk about the technical, you know, uh, issue of elision, or what somebody may also call syncope, we have to be very careful. Here the word is government, from the verb to govern. Govern, government. Now, some people find themselves saying government, government. And you know, it sounds stylish, but Grace, I would share it with you. You can say government, yes, but if you are keen on the standard pronunciation whereby you deliver some message, you see even units in words, carry meanings. So you say to govern, then government. Just like environment. That N is pronounced in government and environment. Indeed, I was waiting for that. Government, environment, yeah. or yes. environment. Right, Willis? Yes. Okay. Yes, that is it, uh, my dear sister. Certainly. Now, I want to hand it over to you, Willis, for the feedback or a surprise word that you may have or anything else, Willis, from your end. Okay. Now, that means I have to be a bit fast because maybe time is against us. Grace, now, we have Zadok Mwangi of Athi River. You say science, but don't say conscience. You say conscience. And you also say omniscience, not omniscience. Science conscience, omniscience. Dylan, if you like, Dylan, Nyariki, you say two. Two. I don't want to give the whole word. Dylan or Dylan, Nyariki, you say two. Now, Francis Joshua, in modern English, in modern English, the word agenda is the singular form, but the plural is agendas. But remember, initially, initially, the word agenda was functioning as a plural, and it was the plural of agendam, which means a thing to be done. But in modern English, agenda and agendas. Then we have Michael Kinyanjui of Nairobi. You say succinct or succinct, succinct. Don't say succinct, succinct or succinct. Then Annabelle Gondima of Kampala, Uganda. You say heist, bank heist. Don't say bank haste, robbery heist. Then we have Kalista's manga of Kilifi, mayonnaise or mayonnaise. Don't say ma. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, no. That A, the first A takes the sounding A, mayonnaise or mayonnaise. Then remuneration, remuneration. Many people find themselves, you know, victims of what we call transposition. There are people who talk about remuneration instead of remuneration. So you say remuneration. Michelle Kemunto Ndieka and Edna Bosibori Mecha, you say dipsomaniac. Dipsomaniac. Not dipsomaniac. You say dip. Dipsomaniac 
or dipsomania, and you say anti, like anti-corruption. But sometimes anti is used in American English and other regional varieties. Then we have Okumu Shadrach of Homa Bay County. You say Masa, Masa in English. Then Maisonette, Maisonette. Charlie, Fiona, Njagi of Nairobi, bourgeoisie, bourgeoisie, a very tricky word from French. Bourgeoisie, the middle class, bourgeois, bourgeoisie. Then your second word, you say leopard. That O is not pronounced, it's silent. You say leopard. And then the last one is zilch. Zilch means nothing. Don't say zilk. Then we have salmon. Locally, we call it salmon, but that L is silent. That name, Salmon Omondi of Nairobi, Ahmed Abdi Malim, Mwalimu Vidija Delizu of Eldoret, and Zakina Hamisi of Mombasa. Thank you very much for loving KTN and good English that much. Charles Odemba. You say interactions, interactions, and then children, not children. Children, children, come on, but please, I think that is out of L1 problem, but please, you say children, child, children. Then Charles Otieno Owino, you are saying you are in Mombasa. Oh, uh, thank you so much for all that you are saying about KTN, the wonderful work. We always say being thorough and doing it the wonderful way. That is what KTN is known for. Now, Raphael Miring of Mangu, you say Gatundu North. You can, oh, you are, I think you, are, you mean you are from Gatundu North. But if you wanted to know the word North, don't say North. It's North. Gatundu North. Then we have Mary Okello of Kisumu, the last person. You say ordinary or ordinary. Then concierge. Concierge. Concierge or concierge, also from French, very tricky. Now, we have to go straight to the surprise word for tonight. And this one means not very noticeable, it's an adjective. You say subtle, subtle. Don't say subtle, that B is silent, just like in the word debt. Don't say debt, debtor, no. Debt, debtor, debtors. This one is subtle, and then you also say subtle T. Don't say subtlety. Subtlety, no. It's subtle and subtlety. Then we have confusing words. This one I know many people will say tonight, yes, KTN, you've done us good. This is where many people now look for rooms or accommodation, but when they reach a hotel or a place that is a guest house, sometimes they find certain spellings which confuse. But as I always say, nobody, not even Willis, is perfect in this world. But this spelling is wrong. We don't have this word in the English vocabulary. Please, one M, no. We have MM, if you like, informally or casually, double M. Accommodation is spelled the way we have the lower word. Don't use one M, especially our good learners, please use MM, not one M or a single M. That one is very confusing to many people, and you'll find sometimes on the boards, notice boards or even signposts, somebody writes accommodation with a single M, which is not existing in the English vocabulary. Then, the match asked about words. These ones, I know some people will ask, Willis, are you kidding? Are you serious? But please get it right from me. This is on the basis of accurate information, if you like. Definite knowledge, nothing like conjecture. You can see these four words. Commonly, we say elegant, element, elephant, and elevate. Please, the first one, it's elegant, Eli, not ele. Eli. You can see the second E is underlined. I've done that to remind you that the second E takes the sound E, not E. Elegant, element, elephant. I know elephant, many learners will be very keen on that. You say elephant, but we find ourselves saying elephant. Then the last one, elevate, to elevate, and elevator, elevator. But with us, we find ourselves innocently saying elevator, sometimes with a lot of style. But anyway, it happens. I always say nobody knows everything. We are all learning, and learning has no full stop in anybody's life. We have to learn. Now, finally, we have what you get only on KTN every Friday night. Now, the phonetic symbols, or if you like, the phonetic transcriptions. Now, we have the sounds, or the sounding, O, O, that slight vowel glide, O. Now, this is what represents it. You'll see something like 
an E upside down. We call it the inverted E, and then followed by what looks like a port. That is now the representation of the phonetic transcription of the sounding O. O, we call it a diphthong technically. Now, you can see the word ho, ho. The transcription is there. That transcription guides you. Then no. Are you going home? No. Are you going to the hospital? No. You can see the transcription. Then we have slow, slow. Then finally, though, though. When you hear somebody talking like that, it's not a style. That is the English orthography now brought to phonology. From the spelling, that is the orthography. Then phonology, the sounding. Now in sounding, you have that O. O, it's a diphthong. That is a glide involving two vowel sounds. But remember, you only get all those here on KTN. And somebody has sent me something that I made the right comment about Grace Korea. And they're saying, so KTN has this tough team. I always talk about tough people. But this Grace Courier, I would finish as I take it back to High Nairobi. This is our gracious Grace, who is also Tara, if you like, the meticulous Courier. Back to Nairobi. <laughs> Willis, you're making me blush on air. <laughs> well, thank you. It's no, been don't worry, a don't worry. pleasure. That is what you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, thank you, Willis. Thank you. Learned a lot. Elegant, no, no, no. element, elephant. Elevate, and of course, the word, the highlight for me, that German word, Schadenfreude. I hope I have not embarrassed you, <laughs> Willis. But thank you, Willis. Uh, Willis, the word master there. Of course, it's a pleasure having him on uh, the show. And of course, special thanks to James Mohia Mukige, alias Modi Shotbaba, for being our guest anchor tonight. And thanks to you for tuning in. We do appreciate. My name is Grace Courier, and I'll see you in 2020, God willing. God bless.